and pastor is saying to us, victory in your mouth. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Joshua chapter 6 verses 1 to 2. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. Joshua was one of such characters in the Bible who was guided to victory by divine revelation. As he prepared to lead Israel in one of her defining battles, the angel of the Lord appeared to him and gave him the strategy by which he should defeat the enemy. Even though the city, Jericho, was greatly fortified against aggression, God's word to him at that moment assured him of victory. The Holy Spirit gave Joshua the winning strategy. He said, And you shall come past the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days, and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day you shall come past the city seven times. And when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Joshua chapter 6 verses 3 to 5. Those walls weren't ordinary walls. There were fortification of massive proportions. However, when the Israelites shouted according to the Lord's instruction, the walls came crumbling down. Read Joshua chapter 6. Aside that day, never in the history of mankind has it ever happened that people shouted and great walls fell down flat. I believe that when they shouted, every one of them released a sound code that caused the walls to come down. The energy of words. If releasing the right words or sound could bring down physical barriers, it will also remove financial barriers or any other kind of barrier. Perhaps you are in a financial strait. No money is coming in and none is going out. Things are extremely hard. It's time for you to get a hold of God's word for that situation and release it. Keep speaking until there's a change. The same Holy Spirit that gave Joshua the strategy to take Jericho has given you his word. He said in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 21, All things are yours. In Romans chapter 8, verse 17, he said, You are an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ. Keep his word in your heart and in your mouth in meditation. Keep pondering, muttering, and shouting the word until the situation you are dealing with crumbles before you. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, it makes no difference how dire things get. You are never confused. You know the way out of every crisis. I'm confident of your extraordinary strategies all the time. My life, ministry, family, and business are flourishing exceedingly, moving forward and waxing greater by the day. As I walk in the light of your word, in Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 to 5, and Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Luke chapter 11, verses 1 to 13, and Judges chapters 1 to 2. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 27, verses 45 to 54, and Leviticus chapter 6. Rhapsody of reality.